Our science editor Tom Clark is with me now for a closer look at the medical aspect. What exactly does this incident signal? Well, what nobody is calling this a palace or anyone else is a heart attack, but that's almost undoubtedly what Prince Philip has had. You wouldn't be subjected to this procedure as an emergency unless you were having or in immediate danger of having a heart attack. But what's a stent? Well, it's not what anyone would want for Christmas, but it's almost certainly, if not saved uh, Prince Philip's life, certainly um, prolonged it because it helps the heart recover after the blockage that, that prompts a heart attack. A stent is essentially, well, what, let's first look at what causes a heart attack. It's a blockage in one of the arteries that supplies oxygen to the heart muscle. Uh, a, a blood clot can form around that plaque, and what a stent is, it's put in on a very fine wire through another artery on the end of a balloon. The balloon is expanded, and the stent's like a metal a wire cage that then holds that artery open once the balloon is withdrawn, and that allows that artery to be held open, restoring blood flow to the heart, allowing it to recover and preventing heart failure from occurring, which you wouldn't want. Has he had something special or is it now available to anyone? Well, no, just a few years ago, you could only have a stent uh, to prevent uh, heart problems. This wasn't something that was offered to just about just everybody. But in the last three years, pretty much 100% of people who can get access to this treatment will have one in response to having a heart attack. So Prince Philip has actually benefited from something that's been rolled out across the NHS and this hospital would have been prepared to give him this treatment. Tom Clark.